So in this role, I'm rolling with Osh, who is new to the, the channel. Um, and we're just about to begin. This would be the last role of this session when, where um, um, Osh and uh, Remy, who you've seen before, um, had quite a, a high paced, energetic role. Um, and uh, I've got still some left in the tank. And so I wanted another role. And so Osh has obliged me here. And so here's just, um, he's trying to work a guard pass and I'm just working to get hooks inside. At this time I've been focusing on uh, half guard and butterfly. So now I wanna see if I can get him to bring some butterfly attacks. And he's sitting on his, he's sitting back there and he's trying to get um, with those hooks in to off balance him. And I feel he's going over to his left. And so that's where I kicked over with that hook sweep and then window shield wiper to the opposite side control slash north south and so just keeping the hips heavy as he's trying to push me away with his arms i'm just staying connected to him and now i've, I've got uh, myself in side control and he's still kind of on his side but i've um, just establishing the position now and so there as i'm I've put my head under his armpit just kind of anticipating maybe going over to a um a head and arm choke but he's kind of stretching his arms and now i'm just kind of staying heavy on top just feeling if he's going to move and then just basically beat him to the next position. So again, with that windshield wiper over to the side, and then I've got my hat grip on his collar. And so this will keep me connected to him if he tries to explore the move away. And so that's as he's trying to do now, he's trying to move and I'm just staying connected and staying heavy on top. But as he kicks his leg over, I kick my leg over to begin a step over choke or canto choke and then finish it there with my other leg and get the tap. So we restart and kind of same again. He is going to begin a guard pass. I kind of play possum here. Just give him a chance to see if he can get some controls and get some attacks going. And I'm trying to keep my head as low as I can to make it more difficult for him to um, to sit back and take my back and get hooks in. So I can bring that knee in, keep my head low so he couldn't kick over an arm bar. And he um, gets his head up higher than me and stands up. So I'll just sit back down begin um, working a guard and so i was kind of waiting here to see what he's going to do in terms of a guard pass but he's kind of sitting maybe he's tired or whatever so i just kicked a single leg x and then as soon as he stood up with the other leg and then i do a basic back sweep as i could take control of the other leg here and a little toriando to get into leg drag and uh, sorry so i can then leg drag and then do this little funky um <laughs> little spinning guard pass there slow motion style and I've got here this head and arm control, but it's more of like an anaconda. So what I want to do is a darce. So I'm going to adjust here, bring that leg up and use my hand connection to punch my other hand through. But somehow he's controlled my wrist. And so what I'm going to do is use my leg to complete the squeeze and finish off the darce. And I don't know if I've done that before using that kind of that kind of uh, modification, but well, <laughs> whatever worked, it got the tap, so not complaining. And so here jumps around to my back again. So here just kind of keep tight defenses and then see what he does. And as he tries to go for an attack, that's when I'm going to take advantage of the space um, created and then take some kind of guard or whatever. And so here just kind of keeping tight. And um, as soon as I feel the space, then I turn in. And so now I've turned to face him and now I've got the turtle position. But here I'm going to creep my hand around to grab the foot and then tuck it in and then um, complete a sweep and pass on the opposite side, the far side. And he's got my, he's got a headlock on me, but that's, that's, not, that's not going to um, do too much to me because I'm in a better position here. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm looking for a head and arm, but I'm kind of using like that shoulder pressure slash von flu choke to help me advance position. I don't really want to get that, but I'd rather get the head and arm, which I've already got set up here. And so I uh, Gable grip my, my, my fingers together, my hands, and then come over to half guard and then drop my hips and shoulders and squeeze for the tap. <laughs> I was commenting there because between rounds, he, uh, he drank a lot of water because he was tired. And when I, when I took the top position, I can, can hear him guard like his belly just reacting to all this water inside. <laughs> it was quite funny, but yeah, one of those random jujitsu moments. But anyway, we'll here again, 
kind of doing like a lazy seated butterfly position using that that same side collar grip to keep the distance and tried to go underneath but he backed up and so kind of got this weird control going which isn't it's pretty flimsy and so i was going to adjust to try and do a loop choke but as he does that he steps over to the side and uh want to regain guard and then see if i can get the loop choke anyway by reversing him but the round ends and uh, i didn't get the chance to finish the squeeze but um it was a good training session good training with these guys and uh thanks you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next commentary videos